Joseph McCarthy ruined so many people's uh, reputations. One man committed suicide, and um, and he starts to attack this young lawyer who was working for Joe Welch at Hale and Door here at the Boston firm. And Welch got so angry at uh, McCarthy for picking on this person for having gone to some meeting, and he just uh, said, "Sir, you know." Uh, have you no shame, at long last, have you no shame to start to try to ruin this young man's uh, career, whatever. And it was so interesting to see that right after that, all the people began to pile on, and nobody had spoken out, everybody, you know, except for that wonderful uh, main lady, uh, Senator, uh, who, who asked for his condemnation in the Senate and got it. Uh, but other than that, nobody would speak out against McCarthy, and uh, uh, it was just extraordinary. It's so so similar now to today, when it's taking so long to uh, correct uh, feeds of the same sort. Uh, but Betty Sodic knew Joe Welch's wife, and so she arranged for somehow they either they all met. After Welsh had become so famous for that one line, he's already famous for the whole inquiry uh, of the uh, alleged communist uh, in the uh, army man that McCarthy was uh, going after at that point. What he told Bob, he said, you know, what you should do on Omnibus is a, is a, a series on the Constitution. And Bob said, we'll do it if you'll do it with us. And, uh, and Welch said, I'd be delighted to do it. So that's how that came about. And uh, then, uh, I, uh, as I say, I don't know how, uh, whether it was Alan Nevins who suggested Dick Hofstadter, because he was, a, as I say, an authority on the Federalist paper and uh, has written definitive books about American uh, society. Um, uh, and so that, that's what we did, and we began with, uh, 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 oh, and, and Bob Sodic had another genius. Part of him was titles. He decided there would be three. It would be the, uh, uh, you know, our salute to the flag here, one nation under God uh, with liberty and justice for all. One nation. Indivisible, and that was indivisible. Was the Civil War, of course, and then the uh, then the third uh, with liberty and justice for all. And so we did three programs uh, on it. And there's a book uh, on it uh, that, uh, that came out afterwards, uh, which is wonderful. That, that has that, that whole prose. And what uh, what we just did was, uh, and I I can't remember. It's probably with Dick and myself, we just sketched out what what would be um, conjoining things of, the, of, of that, but but mainly what would be um, dramatized, what along the way had had, uh, had brought about uh, uh, in those three programs, and uh, and then Welsh would 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 add his own voice to it, which he did uh, uh, add to the to the what we call continuity of it. And, uh, and it was enormously successful, and we put it out to schools for years. It was, it was distributed to schools. Uh, and still a very interesting thing. It ends just in uh, with the with the uh, 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 I can't remember the number of the amendment now, because what we're up to 27 amendments now, but. Um, but anyway, whatever amendment it was, it was the. Uh, uh, that separate but equal was no longer uh, just for schools that would no longer be accepted. And that was the breaking down of the segregation in the South, uh, of uh, beginning to start to try this still apparently great inequality in the South to this day, uh, but that it would no longer be acceptable that uh, it would be separate but equal. And the, the schools were inferior for the uh, uh, for the freed uh, slaves and all, so it was a very uh, it was a, it ended on a high note in in uh, judicial history.